Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, produce this file uh, and what it is, is uh, it's something that will be laser cut uh, for an LED light. Uh, so I've got the file for the box. Uh, so this is the top of the box, um, the sides um, and a bit of a holder. So this little section down here sits in uh, this box uh, and a light comes up through it. Uh, so we've got our piece and we've got our design in the middle of it. We're going to start from the beginning. So I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to go to new. And I've created a custom document. Uh, so you, if you don't have a custom document, you can go to Art and Illustration, and that just changes the color mode to RGB. Change it to millimeters, change it to a width of 600 by 300, and that's the width and the height of the laser cutter. Press Create. Um, so I've already got my file here uh, and I've got my first part that I'm going to start off with. I refer to this as an LED holder. Uh, so this little section uh, sits in our timber box. Um, so to start off you grab the rectangle tool and you can click anywhere your width you want it to be 107 millimeters by a height of 20 mils and press enter. Using these reference points, yours defaults to the center one. If you use the top left, like in maths, you've got an X and Y coordinate and you've got that at zero, zero. So for our page, that's it. Zero and zero, that top left section which is really helpful for what we're going to do next. Uh, the little cutout here is a box that is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So again, I've got my rectangle tool. I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna go 10 by 10 and press okay. Now the reference for this, uh, it's actually set in, get my pen tool, and we'll just hover over this point. It's set in 10 mils. So I'm gonna click on my rectangle on uh, my square and my reference. So it's 10 mils in from the edge. And because it's 10 mils and the box is 20 mils, I put 10 in there. This reference point here is at 10 and 10. So that's zero, zero. This is uh, zero and 20. Uh, so this is going to be 10 and 10. So I've got that box there. Uh, I can click on that. Command C or uh, copy and paste. I've got that there. Now, my Y coordinate is going to be the same. My X coordinate, I know this is 107. I know I've got a gap of 10, but I've also got a gap of another 10. So, 107, 107 is going to put the box over here. Uh, so I need to, it's not going to be, it's not going to be 97. It's going to be 87. So I've got my gap of 10 mils between this box. So I've got this section now. Now I have the selection tool, click and drag. Um, and you can make this um, using this shape builder tool or you can edit this shape. 
So at the moment I've got three shapes. I can click and drag down, click and drag down, and that will edit my bigger rectangle and it'll actually cut that bit out. So I've got, this is where it's going to slide into the actual timber. So I've got my LED holder now. Um, I'm going to create another rectangle on top of that. It's going to be 107 mils wide and 120 mils high. And I need to move that up. Press delete if you've created something that you're not happy with. And I'm going to drag that there. Click and drag both of them and just center that there. If I hold my spacebar and left click, I can pan around my screen. So I've got that there. Again, I can select both of these and shape builder tool like that. I've got one shape now. Um, I'm going to grab an image from the internet. I'll drag this screen over. Uh, when I'm searching, um, I'm looking for an outline. Um, I'm looking for black and white. I'm looking for clear lines. Uh, these images have too much detail and some of it will get lost when uh, the computer tries to trace it. So imagine if you had tracing paper and you had an image like this, um, it would be hard to trace this finer detail. And even something like this, there's a lot of lines going on. So something like this, it's the lines are quite dark and they're all the same weight. Um, even these little bits, they might be a bit hard for the computer to pick up. But I've done this file, so I'll stick to it. Uh, the laser cutter would take a lot of time to do something like this. Um, but you can also see the quality of the image. It's not something of low resolution. Uh, so that's the image quality down the bottom, 762 by 1048. A lower number would be indicating that um, it would be of a lower resolution. So I've got copy image. Um, click somewhere, Command V or Control V. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to make this image. It's locked in its ratio. So if I were to I can change the ratio there. But if I were to type in a width of 107, um, it's going to maintain that ratio. And I won't drag it across there. I'll just work over here for a bit. Now some steps. Click on the image. Image trace. Expand. Oh, see, you can see it's lost a bit of its quality here. I'll just go back and you'll see it. So see, there's a lot of detail there. If I go image trace, this, you know, it's not as clear. Expand, ungroup, and that's all it's asking for us to do. Now I need it to have no fill and I need it to be a color that the laser cutter picks up. If I'm cutting, I'm using RGB red. If I'm um, etching, I'm using blue. If I'm rastering, which is like coloring, coloring in the sections, um, I'd be using black. I'm gonna etch. So I've got that there. Really important, uh, the weight needs to be 0 0.001. Just needs to be really fine. Uh, I'm going to 
I can release this because it's connected, but I'm just going to delete that outline. I'm going to select this little logo down here and delete it. And now I'm going to do a couple of things. Group what I want in the middle. Now I can just place this here or I can use this align tool because these are both grouped it's going to work horizontally aligned two groups so this is one group and this is another group and those are aligned in the middle um, so I'm pretty happy with that I can move that around um, but I'll keep it in the middle so that's what we've got that's ready for laser cutting um, I would be doing this out of a clear acrylic and I'd be laser cutting this file um, out of plywood that is three mils so it's using a finger joint and we've got the top we've got the sides and we've got two windows um, one window is for this particular uh, LED board that has a power by USB port in the middle and an infrared window on the left hand side uh, so this would be um, yeah, switched around thanks